That's Eric Sorensen. That's Jordan Ham. I'm Jared Cohen. We are looking at round two of the high school football playoffs. A lot of interesting things happened in week one. The big matchup, though, this weekend has to be off the top. Desert Edge and Centennial. Both of you guys have seen both teams this season. Jordan, let's start with you. You've seen Desert Edge a couple times. Yeah, and I saw them the last week of the regular season. Lost to Verado 6-3. to three, They were able to avenge that loss in the first round, 34-10. to 10, And a big part of that was Roshan Johnson. Two rushing touchdowns, a receiving touchdown, and an interception. And like you said, this is just going to be a heavyweight matchup. And I think they'll need big play from those contributors, those Roshan Johnsons, those Dante Blissets, those Teron Thomases, if they want to get past Centennial, which really should be probably a, a championship caliber game here in the second round. I think a lot of people at the start of the season thought it would be the state championship game for 5A. From a Centennial perspective, what are you seeing? You saw them in round one. No surprise. Defensively, Richard Taylor gained it done again. They pitched a first half shutout against Liberty, went on to win 24 to 10. This defense has only given up 26 points one time this year. I bet you can guess when. Week zero against Desert Edge. You know it's going to be a huge game, and these two teams are hungry to get back after it. A lot of good matchups in 6A. Desert Vista going up against Chandler. You referenced last week that's going to be a playoff rematch, and Desert mm -hmm. Vista gave them all they can handle. I think the really intriguing game is going to be Perry against Hamilton. Perry beat Hamilton for the first time this season. Finally, earlier in the year, they got over a big hump. So what's your reward? You have to play them again in round two of the playoffs to get into the final four. So Perry can't be too high and think too much about that first game. They have to have that same mentality they had earlier in the season, that notion that they never beat him. They have to play with the chip on their shoulder. Hamilton and Coach Steve Bellis knows how to win this time of year. To 4A now, guys. Another really good matchup. Two good quarterbacks going up against each other in Catalina Foothills traveling up to face Sunrise Mountain. Eric, I know you saw Catalina Foothills earlier this season. I did. I saw him against Saguaro, so take what you can away from that. No one really looks good against Saguaro, but Catalina Foothills, senior-laden team. Rhett Rodriguez, you mentioned, very good quarterback. Brian Beckin and Max Mahalchek, both two-way stars. It's going to be a real intriguing matchup in Peoria. And Jordan, Chase Cord set a state record last week. He has the most touchdown passes uh, out of any quarterback in Arizona history. Yeah, and you also throw in that he has 38 rushing touchdowns on the year, or uh, in his career, excuse me. And then in four years, he's only had 19 interceptions. And finally, we're just going to talk a little 3A, guys. Two top four teams have been eliminated in the 3A bracket. But Jordan, you and I agree that the top four seeds don't necessarily have the top team in that bracket. Right, I think Sabino is one of the better teams in this entire bracket. Uh, they're a five seed, and they only have one loss on the year. It was a 10-7 to loss very early in the year. And you have a playmaker like Drew Dixon, nine passing touchdowns, 15 rushing touchdowns, and four receiving touchdowns. They also incorporate Alex Bell in the fold sometimes as a quarterback as well. So they can move him all over the field, and he'll just flat out make plays. That's Eric Sorensen. That's Jordan Hamm. I'm Jared Cohen. The semifinals are on the line.